Hello, how are you? God, I love your Hi. hair. Thank you. How has um, 2020 been for you? Because it must be such a different year than usual, right? You know, it's a lot different. So you try to pick up new hobbies and new things. I'm like, oh, I, you know what? I'm gonna make a pizza from scratch and I'm gonna do everything. And then it's like, oh, I wanted, I always wanted to watch this show, but I always used an excuse. I'm gonna watch the whole series. Then, you know, I've tried to look at the positives of it. You know, sometimes it can be tough and difficult. Honestly, I just wake up every day and I'm like, oh. You're alive again and you don't have COVID, so you're okay. That is definitely a good way to look at it. But you've been productive because you've released music and now you've released an, another hit, uh, Real with Juice World. Of course, that was released post um, humorously, but could you tell us the story behind that song? Yeah, yeah. My friend played me a song about three years ago and it was mm -hmm. not a song and I was like, what is this? I need to know who this is. And he was like, oh, this is, uh, I think his name's Juice or something. And I was like, well, what's his name? And I like searched online and I found him on Instagram and he had 9,000 followers at the time. I hit him up and I was like, Yo, I want to work with you. And he wrote back, I'm going to be in LA next week. And then he came to LA, we got in the studio. He didn't even have a record deal then. And there was like all these people trying to sign him in our studio session. He got into the recording booth and not only did he have like vocals and, and melodies and lyrics, he did everything all at once in one take. And we were all just like, and it was like the best song. So then he did it six times in a row. We made six songs in like an hour. And that was the first time I ever worked with him. And Real is actually the first song we ever wrote together. That's insane. I know, it was insane. Yeah, well, I think like the song is, it's, it's, it's kind of relatable in a way because of what, what it's talking about and everything. I think everybody kind of goes through that at some point, right? I always want to work with artists that aren't afraid to speak about um, about what's going on in their life, you know? And it's like like a guy like Juice World, like he'll always talk about, he'll be like, well, today I feel great. Uh, today I feel bad. Today I'm depressed. Today, and, and it's, you know, I feel like more so than ever, like because of social media and like the way, you know, kids are growing up now and trying to be more open with what's going on. It's like, it's people can really express themselves throughout their music. And like the song I did with Justin as well, it's like really just, putting everything on the table for people to, you know, like it or hate it. And, and just, just, this is me, this is who I am. Speaking of the one with Justin, uh, Lonely, we've got it playing on repeat on hits over here. Everybody kind of like just immediately took to that one. You know what I mean? But what was it like actually working with Justin himself? I've known Justin since like 2000. Nine. I've been there through the good, the bad, the everything. And I don't know if this song would have even been able to happen if we didn't have that relationship and that that comfort and that uh, that that sort of just like place where you could be vulnerable. And we got to collaborate with Phineas on it as well, who's incredible. And the fact that like we're all friends and we're all cool with each other. So like making a song like this is like no one's embarrassed to say a lyric of how they're going through and what they're feeling. You know, even after we recorded the song, Justin was like, do I put this song out? Like, should I put this out? Is this what people want to hear from me? And like, I'm so happy he did because it, take, it took a lot of guts to to do this because it's like, yeah, you know, we're, you know, everyone goes through things and it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to not be a superhero all the time and be going through something and maybe have people around you, but still feel alone. And you know, if someone, randomly hears that song in the middle of nowhere and they relate to it and say like, oh my God, Justin Bieber's going through the same stuff as me, then I feel like that's a win for everyone. How emotional was it to be on set during the music video though? Oh my God. He wasn't even ready for it. When he was looking at himself, like in between some of the takes, he got so, he was like in tears and he was just like, this is so crazy. I feel like I'm watching myself, you know? There's so many songs that were still playing on hits that people might not realize that are yours. Like um, Anne Marie 2002, uh, Rihanna Diamonds, a bunch of Maroon 5, Katy Perry, Ed Sheeran songs, but it's only in kind of like recent years that you've been more in the spotlight instead of behind the scenes, right? So what made you want to make that change? I remember I, I, uh, I was sitting with Ed Sheeran and we were on tour and we had just watched this documentary called Defiant once with like Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine. And I remember after it, he was like, what are we doing with our lives? And he was like, I was like, uh, 
he was like, we're not doing enough. And then he was like, okay, I gotta go play this show. And then he went and played like a stadium, a sold out. And I was like sitting backstage and I was like, what are we doing with our lives? So I started thinking about all these things I wanted to do. And you know, when you give an artist a song, that song becomes theirs. And, and, and they do everything how they want to do for the song. And you know, once in my life, I wanted to try to see what it was like to be, to market the song how I want you to make the video how I wanted to, to do the single art the way I wanted to. And I wanted to, I wanted to feel what that felt like. And I was like, well, what better time than to do it now and just try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And honestly, I was surprised at how well it worked. I had no idea it was going to do that well. Okay, and before I let you go, do you have a message for your Malaysian fans? Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for listening to my music. I can't, I was looking up and like, you guys listen to my music so much and you guys play my songs and make them big and you guys are amazing. And if I can do it, you guys definitely can because I'm not even that good. <laughs> that is the lie of the interview, but okay. <laughs> oh no, keeping it real. All right, thank you so much for talking to me. It was great talking to you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, bye.